the Delaware Standard Bread Breeders Fund Finals for our first state two-year-olds recently took place. Let's check out the winners of the $100,000 event. First, let's check out the Trotton Colts. Pardon My Putt, owned by Michael Gannon, went wire to wire in 203 and 1. The son of Par 1, a stud who still holds a track record at Dover Downs, is trained by Michael's wife, Laura Gannon. In the driver's seat was Wendy Dunaway. It's been a while since you've driven. How's it feel? Feels great, man. Nothing beats winning. Next, in the final for the high step in Phillies, it was Emily Dew. And this trotting lass did it, and faster than the boys. Owned by John Wagner and Lloyd Arnold, she was victorious in 202 and 3. This freshman is a daughter of CR Commando and is also trained and driven by Wagner. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't got. I got to the front and got lucky and won. That was it. The horse did the work. Victor, what's your connection with this horse? I just help him Wagner out, that's all it is. And I got her ready for him, so then he got all the glory by winning the final with her. <laughs> On to the pacing boys. It was marvelous. Del Marvelous, that is. Owned by Badlands Racing, George Teague Jr., Elmer Fannin, and Howard Dorfman. The son of Badlands Hanover, who was the favorite, came first up to win and won 54 and 1 with Corey Callahan in the bike for trainer George Teague Jr. Tell me what you saw from your seat. Oh, I thought the, the horse uh, got away uh, late, come, uh, come up on the outside, and uh, he raced from behind, and he really raced really super. And uh, did, did Corey do okay? He did excellent. Corey's a great guy, great driver, and really it's nice to have him driving the horse. Finally, in the Philly pacing division, win back Patty, who finished her mile first and won 56 and four, was a long shot, paying $34.80. She's owned by Henry Farragali, Henry Farragali Jr., Joe Thompson, and Del Cody, who's also the trainer. The daughter of Shotgun Scott drew clear by two lengths with Rainsman David Miller. What can you tell me about this horse? Well, you, uh, last week I raced her. Uh, I set the two hole and she just kind of followed along there. Uh, didn't really uh, do anything wrong. So raced very well. Then tonight, you know, I, uh, they left pretty hard on both sides of me, inside and out. So I just took her off and uh, wasn't really for sure uh, how to race her. I moved her going to half, and uh, she came out of the hole pretty strong. So I just brushed her, and she made the lead. And uh, she made the lead. She kept right on rolling. 